what is going on guys welcome back to the channel panthers advice to date man there's a few different topics we have to cover but first i have to talk about hitting 2000 subs it wouldn't be possible without you guys thank you so much for the support because last year i made some videos during otas and those were rough and the fact you guys subscribed to me through those man i appreciate the love if any of you guys are starting a business a youtube channel no matter what it is let me know i'll pin your link to your channel, to your restaurant, maybe your business in the comments. Obviously, I'm going to do my research first. Make sure it's going to be nothing that's going to get me in trouble. On top of that, I do marketing analytics for a living. So if you have any questions, also let me know in the comments. You guys know I respond to just about everyone. But now, man, let's jump into the video because there's a few things we got to talk about when it comes to the Carolina Panthers. First up is Ian Thomas. Now, the headline is a little bit misleading from where I want to go with this. And what I mean by that is there's been a lot of hype about him. So is there still a role? To me, the answer is yes, right? He's the one run blocking tight end I feel like we have. However, with that being said, last year, and I might have been the leader of it, but getting overhyped during OTAs. I mean, I was super hyped last year. OTAs, Bryce Young, blah, 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 right? Super hype. LaVisca, whoo. Everybody was talking about LaVisca last year and what happened. MIA, right? MIA. We saw those different packages. None of that came to fruition. So with Ian Thomas, there's been a lot of hype about him. Catching deep balls from Bryce. You know, he's really showing out this year. But I'm not going to get too excited over Ian Thomas doing his thing in OTAs, right? We still got Tremble, who's probably my favorite tight end. Talked a lot about him last year. You got Sullivan, and you still have Jordan Matthews, and like I said before, the rookie. So I'm glad Ian Thomas, man, he's getting his praise, seems to be putting in the work. We'll see what happens, though. It's it's just it's hard for me to picture Ian Thomas in that Dave Canales offense. After all the film I've watched, I would be shocked. Now, I hope I'm wrong on that, but I would be shocked if Ian Thomas is the star tight end in that offense. The second thing we're going to get into before we jump into OTAs and Bryce and talk about last year is Miles Sanders. Now, Miles Sanders keeps getting linked to different trades, right? This team might trade for him. This team might trade for him. To be honest, I think eventually somebody is going to trade for him. Now, we all have our opinion on Miles Sanders, right? <laughs> we're just going to leave it at that. The latest team is going to be the Colts, it looks like, right? They're the AFC South team that's thinking about getting Miles Sanders. They're going to put him potentially behind Jonathan Taylor. Not a bad one-two punch in that offense with Anthony Richardson. And you got to think, that's where Miles Sanders excels at. Running that kind of RPO-based offense, come in as a second back behind Taylor, run with Anthony Richardson. I could see the Colts doing that. So we're not going to spend too much time on that. But let me know what you guys think of that because we already have Brooks and Hubbard and potentially two more backs too. So now we're going to jump to the Panthers. Week 2 OTAs, man. Two more days. June's going to be here. Two more months. The season will be here. If you ask me, the team looks better on paper this year than it did last year during OTAs, right? You look at the receiving core. We picked up DJ, and we knew DJ had an injury history. That's why his contract, I think it was like, what, one year, $5 million, $7.5? Somewhere in that vicinity. You picked up LaVisca. An athlete, but we didn't know what we were really getting from him. We got Mingo, but you know my thoughts on that. Mingo wasn't used right. So those were the, really the three guys we thought were going to pop off. LaVisca, DJ, Mingo. But as you guys saw, really none of them popped off. So this year we kind of flipped DJ and LaVisca for XL and Deontay Johnson. Adam Thielen, another year in the offense. And hopefully this year Adam Thielen can be more of a slot guy. Believe it or not, Adam Thielen at what, 32, 33 in that area was the number one receiver for the Panthers. But now let's talk about Bryce Young. I want you guys to really watch his footwork right here because last year I hyped up Bryce Young, but I really didn't watch the footwork. Right here, you're going to see, I know it sounds crazy, trust me. I know it sounds crazy. I almost don't even want to say it, but you're going to see a different Bryce Young because in a second, we're going to look at Bryce Young during OTAs last year. Take a look right here. He's got the red jersey on, which means no contact. You're going to see he's going to fall back making this throw. His footwork, it's all messed up. Now you might be like, okay, that's one throw. No, 
And if you go look at his pro day in Alabama, his footwork is just as bad. Nobody changed it. Dave on his press conference, what, a week, two weeks after he was hired, immediately addressed Bryce Young's footwork. You know, OTAs last year, nobody said anything. Pro day, nobody said anything. I'm just saying, right? Dave said, no, 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 no. We're getting that thing fixed. Right here, I want you guys to look at the footwork again. So I want to pause it right here at the top of the drop. Look how wide Matt's stance is compared to Bryce Young. Now, with that being said, Bryce likes to do the thing where he goes one, two back, hops, and then bang, steps forward. Well, when you get pressured, those feet are still together. He doesn't get the chance to really bring it forward, right? And that's what he did time and time again, which is why he didn't get that much power on them. Look at Matt right here and look at Bryce Young. If defenders aren't in Bryce's face, he can step up and make that 50, 60-yard throw. Take a look what happens when you do this. Not from Bryce Young, but from who? Mr. Andy Dalton. So you're going to see Andy Dalton right here. He's going to step back. Look how close his feet are together right here. Now, this is OTAs. I'm sure Andy Dalton isn't taking it that seriously. But as you're going to see, man, he throws off the back foot, and it's a bad throw. I mean, this is a simple pass to LaVisca. But like I said before, you know, it's OTAs. It's not a big deal. But this is what happens, right? This is what happens when you don't have that good athletic stance. Bryce Young, to me, already looks better. He already looks better this year in OTAs compared to last year in OTAs. Now, who knows what that actually means, right? That can mean absolutely nothing. But it's a sign of positivity, and I will take that, man. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Once again, thank you guys so much, 2,000 subs. I greatly appreciate you guys. A lot more content coming soon, and hopefully a better season on the way too, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy.